624. So talk about overcoming hardships. In Fort Worth at Baker Orth Orthotics and Prosthetics, one patient had set a goal to be independent after some severe complications from COVID-19. Yeah, thankfully, he's not doing it alone. Our Tiffany Liu has more. In life, there are unexpected obstacles. Uh-oh. <laughs> For Ben Cromwell, the last two years I got it. have been the most challenging. It took me about 11 surgeries to try to save my legs. And they ended up having to amputate both legs in order to save me. In July 2020, he was hospitalized with coronavirus. I had severe clotting from COVID that was resistant to medicine. The only option was double amputation. His right leg below the knee and his left was above the knee limb loss. I think at a certain point I was in so much pain that I was I was asking him to take my legs. It was it was that painful. Things many people don't think twice about <laughs> became goals for Ben to learn. Just resilience and strength and fortitude and tenacity. Simply standing up is not quite as simple. Good job. His physical therapist, Shannon O'Neill, watches Ben struggle and grow. Take a break. You'll hear that motor engage and lift him up. She says the last few months, oh, he's accomplished the most right. with the help of a new power. Need. This is a total game changer. Ben initially had a standard microprocessor prosthetic on his left side, but he was given a chance to try Oscar's motor powered bionic knee recently launched in the U.S. Power knee gives some of that energy back to him. It was recommended by his orthotics prosthetics assistant, Cody Longenbaugh. Once I wore this, I knew I had something that needed to be shared with the world. He is also an amputee, losing his leg as an right. infant. Your turn. And even though Cody's story of limb loss is different than Ben's. I have felt more normal and equal to people with two legs. They both have the drive to keep moving. I didn't want to be a burden on somebody else. And so I, I wanted to be able to be that person that's helping. And the only way I'm going to do that is to get on my feet and get going. Having the power knee makes okay. it easier to do just that. I've never gotten up the stairs with the, with the other knee. Advanced algorithms detect movement and patterns. The knee will adjust to his speed and cadence. There's been several times that I've stumbled and it stopped me from falling. It gives Ben hope. When you see something that gives you hope to be able to, to resume your regular life. I mean, that, that's pretty exciting. In Fort Worth, I'm Tiffany Liu.